Okay, so this is a continuation of section 2.1 on the difference quotient. Uh, if you remember, here's the formula. And with rational function, you might see a rational function, we're going to need to do the top part first. So the red bolded box here is the first thing to compute. Um, so f of x plus h. Let's see, that's going to be uh, 7 over, and then x plus h is going into the x. And then we have to add 6 to that. And that's going to be minus f of x. In this case, it's going to be 7 over x plus 6. What we have here is a two fractions that we need to get common denominators for. Uh, let's just do that by multiplying uh, the second fraction by the first denominator. Um, x plus h plus 6, x plus h plus 6, and then the first fraction by x plus 6. Uh, distributing through, it looks like we'll get 7x plus 42, then minus 7x, minus 7h, and then minus 42. This subtraction sign goes with the 7. Uh, that's all over the common denominator of x plus 6 times x plus h plus 6. Now the nice thing here is that several things will cancel. Uh, I can take out the 7x's. I can take out the 42s. So then my difference, uh, excuse me, not my difference quotient, but the top of my difference quotient will be negative 7h all over the denominator. Let's multiply that by the reciprocal of h. Notice here we still have to divide by h. Dividing by h is the same thing as multiplying by 1 over h. And by doing that, I avoid a complex fraction. I can also see that I have the h's cancel, and my answer will be negative 7 over the denominator of x plus 6 times x plus h plus 6. And that right here is the difference quotient for this rational expression. Let's do a radical expression. Um, so once again, the formula is f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. With, with radical expressions, you're going to want to do the entire thing in one fell swoop. So it looks like this. Um, I have the square root of x plus h goes into the function, um, but I'm adding 2 to that. And we'll subtract the x plus 2 square rooted all divided by h. With this particular type of function, with square root functions, you're going to want to multiply by the conjugate of the numerator. So it looks like this. I'm going to multiply by x plus h plus 2, and this minus sign becomes a plus sign. Now, to pay for that, I still have to multiply the bottom by that conjugate. And what we're going to have here is when two conjugates multiply by one another, let's look at it in an easier way. If I take a minus b times a plus b, and foiling, I get a squared plus ab minus ab plus, excuse me, minus b squared. The reason why I multiply by the conjugate is the inner and outer products cancel. So let's do that here. Notice we're taking the first product is going to be um, this square root times itself. A square root times itself just reveals the inside expression. Then the last product is going to be this square root times itself. And so that's going to reveal minus x. Uh, and, and we're subtracting minus x plus 2. And this is all divided by h times the square root of x plus h plus 2 plus radical x plus 2. Now, with a difference quotient, we're going to want to stop after the h is canceled. So let's do a little bit more cleaning up. Uh, look at this. We're going to get minus x minus 2. And, and the pattern here is that seems to always cancel with terms from f of x plus h. So all we're left with here is h over h times the square root of x plus h plus 2 
um, plus the square root of x plus 2. And now that the h's cancel, I'll have 1 over, let's see, the square root of x plus h plus 2 plus the square root of x plus 2. And that is my difference quotient. Remember, I always stop my difference quotient. Stop your difference quotient uh, when the h cancels. 